Welcome to this lesson, on how to apply Bike Bums Kryptonite to your bike chain. After the chain has been thoroughly degreased, and cleaned of all previous lubricants, and dried properly, it is time to dip it in the molten kryptonite. See our chain off method instructional video, on how to clean the chain. Start by placing the chain on a steel plate, or a thin wooden board, in a zigzag loop. This is very important so that you later, can slowly pull the chain straight up from the kryptonite bath, without any twists or knots. Finish by connecting a piece of steel wire at the end. Practice the pulling process, before warming up kryptonite. Place the kryptonite puck in a small, dedicated saucepan, with the largest side down. Carefully increase the temperature, until it begins to melt. Stir often, and do not exceed 90 degrees Celsius. After a while, the brighter krypton core also melts. It is quite sensitive to overheating, and can easily burn if you are not careful. Stir almost all the time, and watch the process. When everything is melted, it's time to pour in the chain. Slowly immerse it in the kryptonite bath, and then start moving it around, so that the solution enters all parts of the chain. Let it rest for a few seconds, and then repeat. Do this for at least 5 minutes, to make sure that the chain is properly lubricated, and that it has reached the same temperature as the bath. Now it's time to pull the chain out of the bath. Shake it gently, while pulling very slowly straight up. Take your time, so that the hot kryptonite has time to flow downwards. In this way, the coating becomes thin and fine, and the chain does not need to be cleaned afterward, when it has cooled down. This way you also save a lot of kryptonite and should be able to process up to 4 or 5 chains on one puck. If you have done the right thing, the chain is now rigid, but the links are open and you can, after a bit of chain gymnastics, mount it on the bike. Just make sure, the bike shifts properly before setting off. A shorter run-in may be needed, but then it is full speed ahead. Allow the remaining kryptonite to cool in the saucepan, but it is important that you remember to turn the lump upside down, before the next heating. This is further to avoid burning the heat-sensitive krypton additives, as mentioned before. <laughs> 